Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your database table. So we have two scripts that we'll make use of, and these scripts were available in the source code download. The first script is 01 create user.sql, and the second one is 02 student tracker.sql. And I'll actually step through each one of these scripts just to show you what they're used for. All right. So let's start with the first script, 01 create user.sql. Basically what it's going to do, it's going to create a new MySQL user for our application. Uh, the user ID will be HB student and the password will be HB student. And our app will use this to communicate with the MySQL database. All right, so let's go ahead and swing over and look at the files here for a second. So here's the core source code. Uh, this is basically once you download it to your system and you unzip it, then you'll have these directories here. What I'll do is go ahead and look at the hibernate demo directory. And inside of this directory is another subdirectory called SQL scripts. And inside of the SQL scripts, there are the um, two files, 01 create user and 02 student tracker.sql. And what we'll do is we'll actually read these files in the MySQL workbench tool and actually execute them. But right now we're just looking at them on our raw file system. All right, so let me go ahead and pull up the MySQL Workbench and let me log in as the root user right now. Uh, we enter our password. It's the same password that you use during installation. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this folder icon and let's open up that first file. So I'll click on the folder icon and it'll take me to my file system. And I'll go into that um, course source code directory that we looked at earlier. And hibernate demo and SQL scripts. And I'll choose the first file here, 01 create user dot SQL. And I'll go ahead and click on the open button. All right, so here's the file. So again, basically all we're going to do is create a user called HB student. And they're going to have a password of HB student. And then this last line here basically grants all the privileges such that this user can go ahead and create tables and do any other things they need to do with the database. And then I'll click on this little uh, lightning bolt here, this yellow lightning bolt to actually execute the code and perform the operation. All right, cool. So this looks good. Um, down at the bottom, you should see the uh, green check marks, meaning that both of those statements executed successfully. So at this point, we have a new user that was just that was just created. Uh, HB student. Now what I'd like to do is go ahead and close this root connection and I'm going to create a new connection for this um, student just to verify that this student was created successfully and also to verify that we can actually log in with that student. So I'll create a new connection name here. I'll call it HB student. You can give any name for the connection, but for the username, this is really important. Uh, you have to give HB student just like we had in our script and what I'd like to do is click this little test connection button at the bottom. And they'll enter, they'll prompt us with the password. Again, it's the same HB student and then click on OK. And we should see the success. Yeah, good job. All right. So that's successful. So we know that our user was created successfully and we also know that we can log in with that password. All right. So let's go ahead and click on OK here in the corner. And now let's go ahead and double click this HB student connection uh, just so we can connect to that database. All right, great. So we're in. Um, this all looks good right now. So this is a verification that yes, we created our user successfully and we can log in with that user. So I'm going to switch back to the slides here for a second and take a look at that um, next script that we need to use. So that next script is the O2 student tracker dot SQL and its main purpose again is to actually create a new database table. Uh, this table is called student and it's going to have four columns, the ID, the first name, the last name and the email address. And the ID will actually be the primary key and we'll set the ID to auto increment. And that's the purpose of this SQL code. All right. So swinging back into my SQL workbench, uh, let's go ahead and open that SQL file. So here I'll just go to the file menu 
and I'll choose Open SQL Script. And again, I'm in the same directory as before, our SQL Scripts directory under our Hibernate demo. I'll choose O2 Student Tracker.SQL and I'll click the Open button. Okay, great. So this looks really good. So let's kind of step through this code here uh, just so you can understand it. So basically the first two lines here, we're basically creating a database uh, called HB Student Tracker. This database can have multiple tables inside of it. Uh, the next thing we do here is we drop the table if it exists, and then we create the table from scratch. So we're going to create a new table called student with those four columns, ID, first name, last name, email address. And we specify that the ID is the primary key for the table. All right, so this looks really good so far. Let's go ahead and click on the um, gold lightning bolt here to execute the SQL. And great, this looks good. So we have all the green check marks at the bottom. There's a little warning flag there because, you know, the drop table, the table didn't exist, but no worries there. As long as you have the green check marks there, you're good to go. So we have a new table. Um, so what we need to do over on the left hand side is just do a right click and choose refresh all. So right click, refresh all. And this will show us our new database. So they call it a schema, but it's called HB Student Tracker. Expand tables. Here's our new table student. Looks really good. And our four columns, um, ID, first name, last name, and email. So this looks really, really good at this moment. Now our table doesn't really have any data. It's empty. Um, so if I do a right click and choose select rows, uh, I don't really have any data. That's fine though. We're, we're, we're fine with that. We're actually going to write hibernate code and we're going to add data to this database table via hibernate. So don't worry. Uh, we'll put data in there and we'll update, delete, do all the regular crud stuff. Uh, but anyways, we're in good shape right now. We've, uh, created our, um, our student user and we also created our database table. So this is really good. And, uh, we're all prepped and ready to move forward with our follow on videos. So, I will uh, see you in a bit. Woohoo!